Hey, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create three step animation slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I've created three options and I've given some space here. From this particular space, the detail will come or the text will appear. So when I click, you can see here it comes from inside and you can add some text. If you want to add, you can add some uh, title also for this option. So when I click, the option comes from this one the second point with the different color and then comes the third point so depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease these options please share like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on youtube for powerpoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and i have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes, select the rectangle, draw the rectangle, leaving only the borders, something like this, shape outline, make it no outline and shape fill, you can fill any dark color here. So I'm going to use this color and make sure to align center, align middle. Once this is done, go to insert again shapes from the rectangles i'm going to choose rectangles top corner rounded draw this much you can see here top corner rectangle and i'm going to rotate it the curve one should come to the left side okay you can do it by using the alt and the left arrow key you can see here it looks something like this and i'm going to place it here shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with white color the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this one by pressing ctrl d and i'm going to give some different color reduce the height and the width and i'm going to keep it here so this much part i'm going to actually cut it from this one again make sure to select both the shapes align middle all right so first of all let me just select this shape hold the shift key select this shape merge shape and subtract so i end up getting a shape something like this then go to insert shapes select the rounded corner rectangle draw a rounded corner rectangle and make sure that this orange uh, point drag this inside shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to fill this with white and reduce the size and i'm going to put it something like this all right so once this is done go to insert shapes again from the rectangles i'm going to choose this one rectangles top corner uh, rounded draw this one this much size and you can see here again this orange point i'm going to drag this inside shape outline no outline shape fill uh, depending on the requirement you can give any light color so i'm going to use this green and i'm going to rotate it with the help of the alt and the right arrow key just click it till it becomes horizontal and I'm going to place it something like this again reduce the height a little bit and again depending on the requirement you can increase the width of this all right so I'm going to keep this much the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the text so go to just add a text box equals lore within brackets one and I don't want this much large text I'm going to delete it some of the text and this much text I'm going to select give a white font if you want you can give a shadow effect also depending on the requirement so again let me reduce the font size and then I'm going to place it here if you feel the font size is smaller you can just increase it and increase the width of this one you can see here it looks something like this and make sure to select both these options and press ctrl g to group it all right the next thing which i'm going to do is insert the option number here which is one or you can add the icon also i'm going to use the font arial black center align and increase the size something like this and i'm going to put it here all right and you can give the same color what we have used here so now i'm going to select First of all before doing that one let me just select this one and this one and press ctrl g to group it okay Do make sure that this should not be selected while grouping so now i'm going to select all these shapes hold the ctrl shift key drag it down and here so this will be my option number two 
and this is my option number three now depending on the requirement i'm going to change the color maybe i'm going to give this blue here and here i'm going to give uh, maybe a kind of a purple and here also this one go to the home and give the purple color and here give the blue color all right and again make sure that this one always should be select this one this one and this one and always make sure to go to the shape format bring to front all right the next thing which i'm going to do is the animation so i'm going to select this animation this all these three options only these options okay i'm not going to select any of this just select this one hold the shift key and select all these three and then go to the animations enable the animation pane and i'm going to use the animation go to the more entrance effects i'm going to use peek in click ok peek in should be from the left it looks something like this so example if i play you can see here it looks something it's coming from inside now sometimes what happens here is if you bring this to front let me just show you one example if i bring this to front it is coming from here okay which is not will not look good so always make sure that this option always bring to front so if i do a slide show it looks that it's coming from inside and then these two things i'm going to make it on click so let me just play the first option it looks like this is coming from inside and then the third one so depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease these options